Hey guys, it's Edward. I'm making this little video to show you the Blackboard Plan application, which I just started playing around with. It's pretty cool. You can get it uh, on the Blackboard website for free. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to go to File, Open, Session Plan. Got one right here that I made. All right. Now it's loading it, and here we go. So I start. I made these sections. I put all this content in. First thing, I disable chat. I don't like them chatting up the place before class starts. I click this to load some slides into the whiteboard. You see there they are. I can start recording here, but I'm going to skip that. Um, next section, we're doing the pre-presentation quiz. So I have a note to enable chat so I can go over there and let people chat. Load a quiz, which if you haven't done that before, you can make one. You just have to go into a file, new quiz, and make a little quiz. I haven't, I have not used it with students yet, but uh, this will be my first time. So now we can send a, a message, a chat message. I made it an announcement, so it tells everyone that we're going to take a short quiz. We have five minutes to do it. Set the poll type to binary so they can give me a check mark when they're done. Start the timer. Start the quiz. Now there's no one in here but me, so this doesn't work. At the end of the timer, I can send this chat message. And I think I'll go in and change it to an announcement, but it just says, give me the green check mark if you've finished. And I can stop the quiz, which is not running because I don't have any students in here. Go on to the next section. Here I have a link to go to the next screen. And then you give yourself these little text reminders of what to do. So I published the quiz results, which for some reason you can't put that into the planner. So I'll find out how that works when I do this. Uh, review the questions and then pause recording down there. And we're done. So it's a pretty neat application. It looks like this. Here it is. So you load the files that you're going to use and basically hit the little action button here to choose an action. Something that you could do uh, through Blackboard Collaborate. But instead of going to the menus and fumbling around, you're just going to click right on down this list. Alright, hope this helps some of you out.